was a show of colors, culture and music as people gathered in Adoekiti for the start of a new year. Yes, the ancient kingdom in Ekiti has its own calendar and the Awi of Adoekiti proved to be a good host as you will see in correspondent Akio Gumala's report. Adoekiti kingdom has its own calendar in which the Udiroko festival marks the beginning of the year. Traditionally, it's a day dedicated to merrymaking and payment of obeisance mm -hmm. to the paramount ruler of the kingdom, the Ewe. Over time, the festival has developed to becoming a cultural tourism as Uduroku now attracts people from across the globe, thereby positively affecting the local economy of Ekiti State Capital. The economy of Ekiti is improving as a result of today. In the numbers of activities going on, people will buy new clothes, people will sell on the market, people will cook rice, people will buy meat. You know, a lot of things happen, you know, during the Uduroko Festival. Because this is our own heritage. Uduroko is as old as Adoekiti. And that's what brings everybody together. This, uh, this is a type of uh, uh, sort of uh, traditional way of uh, entertaining people that we bring people in diaspora. For example, I have two or three people from uh, America. Uh, Bill and Otelia, uh, normally there are a lot of people that come to town that patronize us. Not me alone, all the hotels within the town. At its inception, Udiroko used to be celebrated only by Adwekiti indigenous. But today, the various ethnic groups resident in the capital city participate actively to make the annual festival really grand. The chief host of Udiroko Festival, the Ewe of Adoekiti, in a speech called on Adoekiti sons and daughters at home and in the diaspora to complement government efforts by contributing towards the development of their credo. Oba Adeyemo Adejube also warned against the consequences of the rising insecurity in the country. Udiroko festivities continue beyond this amphitheater at homes across the city in spite of this rain.